Hey guys, I uh, wanted to go into uh, some uh, mistakes to avoid at the blackjack table. Uh, there are a few. Um, there, you know, it's not as daunting as uh, you may think it is. It's you know not really a whole lot of uh, you know things that you you know need to avoid. But um, I just wanted to touch up on the basic ones. Um, here we've got uh, you know like a wide set of uh, circumstances where a lot of people you know will you know, kind of do the wrong thing. Um, in a case here, uh, you got uh, you know, a player here with a 15. Uh, one of the big mis big mistakes is that players will get a little too passive uh, with their hands. Uh, I can say 14s, 15s, 16s. You know, even when the dealer is, it doesn't matter what the dealer is showing. They're just you know afraid that they're going to bust, so they're not even going to bother. Um, yeah, and that's kind of uh, yeah, that's not really a good way that you'd want to play uh, because. Uh, generally, uh, with you know the deal showing a, a you know like a card like say like this nine, he's gonna make a hand more often than he's not gonna make a hand. So by you know just deciding you know okay I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hit my 15, you know in the long run you're gonna end up costing yourself a, you know, a lot of money. Um, you know so like, you know you know in the case here he hit but you know it's like and he, he ends up over 21 but at least he gave himself a shot against the nine, as opposed to just kind of like being a sitting duck with a 15. Um, a lot of times, uh, another thing players will do too, is um, they'll be a little too, you know, like they'll, they'll be a little too aggressive with their, uh, their hand, where, you know, the player will have like a, a soft 14 versus a nine, and he'll do something like he'll just want to double down on it, because he just wants to get more money out, which, like that never works out very well uh, because you know any hand where you can't make at least a twenty, that's generally that's generally not a hand you're going to want to double down on. True, he can make a six or a seven with the three, but if he misses, which most of the time he will, right now he's got a twelve. He's stuck with the twelve. Nothing he can do about it, and he's got four hundred out versus a nine. Uh, another thing that people want to do, it's you know, and this falls under the category of aggressive. Is do moves like splitting tens, right? Where you know if the deal, you know, then you know everybody at the table will probably kind of wince as you do it. You split these tens. Now you're looking for two tens or better. Now you've got a 15, and then you elect to hit the 15. He lucks out with the 20, right? But then you know this hand here, he's got 18. He's behind. So you know if the dealer ends up making a hand, then he will more than likely. You know he'll more, he'll more than likely just push, um, as opposed to you know if he, he would have won straight out with the twenty. Um, and another thing you know falls under like aggressive plays would be splitting too often, right? So a lot of times you know people will you know like want to split a pair of sevens because you know they want to get they want to get more money out just for you know whatever reason, right? So now you know one hand that was like okay the fourteen, but now instead now you've got a hand where you know. It's like you, you turn your one, you know, your one marginal hand. Now you've got two of them that you're stuck with. Um, so decide, you know, he wants to hit the 16. Now he busts. It's like now he's got a 17 that you know that he's stuck with. It's, you know what's going to happen now? He's hoping he had a 19. He didn't. He's got a 14. Dealer draws to a 20. So now he just lost two bets. All right, by you know by splitting his sevens. Right, and he, you know, he loses his bet. All right, and then you've got uh, the guy who decided to split his tens. All right, he loses one of them. He pushes one. So you know he could have just stayed, and you know whatever would have happened with the cards would have happened with the cards. But instead, now he loses money. And then the guy who was aggressive with his soft, four, you know, his soft fourteen. You know, he ended up with this uh, with his hard twelve. You know, he ends up losing as well. So. You know, these are a lot of mistakes that uh, that a lot of players make. That you know, I, you know, I, I like to you know try to help you guys avoid because uh, you know mistakes like that cost you money, and then you know then it you know, then it swings the odds even further in the house's favor. Mm -hmm.